Papaji, you're telling people to sit in satsang with a realized master. When the guru dies and physical satsang with him is no longer possible, what is the disciple to do next? If he's a disciple, he will not agree that the master dies. The master was not the body, body dies. But the master never was a body. All the bodies will die. So death of the body, it doesn't matter for the disciple only. Master is something else. And that master is always seated within the heart of a disciple. So he doesn't need anything else. He knows perfectly well, I don't miss my master. It is here and now, always with me. So this is the relation between master and the disciple. So if the disciple has the attitude that the guru is not the body which just died, he is my own self, then with that attitude, if he is not already realized, he can realize the self after the master's death. He should not leave. His work is done. Why should he look for another <laughs> thing? Why should he look? Looking is, looking for is, you need a body and mind. So master, when he died, he took away, along with him, his body and mind. That was the teacher. And, and only those people who are, who are intensely devoted to freedom, they can only sense it, not others. Many people who attend your satsangs, Papaji, have waking up or enlightenment experiences. But after a few weeks or a few months, they come back and they say, I lost it. Ah, yes, w yes. What is happening there? That's happening. Again, un unworthiness. Mm. Again, unworthiness, you see. <laughs> Most of the time you blame these people for losing it. You say it's your fault. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> because lost it because you are not taking care of it. Mm. You are not taking care of it. When I give you diamond, it's enough for you, for whole of this life. Mm. 